The Lord fed his people with the finest wheat, and with honey from the stony rock, their hunger was satisfied. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. You then, who truly and earnestly repent of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbours, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God, and walking from this day forward in his holy ways, draw near with faith, and take this holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that it is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that in this wonderful sacrament you have given us the memorial of your passion. Grant us so to reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may know within ourselves and show forth in our lives the fruits of your redemption. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Remember the long way that the Lord your God has led you these forty years in the wilderness, in order to humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart, whether or not you would keep his commandments. He humbled you by letting you hunger then by feeding you with manna, with which neither you nor your ancestors were acquainted, in order that, to make you understand that one does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Then do not exalt yourself, forgetting the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, who led you through the great and terrible wilderness, an arid wasteland with poisonous snakes and scorpions, he made water flow for you from flint rock and fed you in the wilderness with manna that your ancestors did not know, to humble you and to test you, and in the end to do you good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from St Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth. The cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? 
because there is one bread. We who are many are one body, for we all partake in one bread. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Not like that which your ancestors ate and they died, but the one who eats this bread will live forever. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Christ our Lord. <clears throat> The response to the petition, in faith we pray, is, we pray to you, our God. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people gathered at your table. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. Here where we celebrate how Christ gave us his body to be our spiritual food. Listen as we pray for his body, the church, spread throughout the world. Pray for churches everywhere, that in receiving the body and blood of Christ, they may be filled with his love, ready to serve in love all of those who suffer throughout our world. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. Here where we recognize the presence of Christ who takes away the sin of the world. Listen as we pray for that world and for its peoples for whom his blood was shed. As we remember Jesus' sacrifice for us, so we pray for those who are victims of similar violence and hatred and oppression throughout this world now. We pray for justice and equality. Pray for refugees and asylum seekers. For all whose true humanity is denied. Pray for all of those who are victims of this virus. Pray for health care workers and all who seek to serve their neighbours. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. Here where we come together as Christ gathered with his friends to give us this meal of holy fellowship, 
Listen as we pray for all whom you have given us, our friends and all whose lives are joined with ours. Pray for one another gathered here for this Mass this evening, for all members of our congregation and wider community, for the people of our parish and for Bethnal Green, that we may grow in mutual love as part of one human body. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. Here we remember the night of Christ's agony and trial. Listen as we pray for all who share his sufferings through fear or pain or distress of many kinds, praying especially by name for Ruby Bay, Bob Blunt, Barbara Fisher, Joyce Lee, Agnes Friedrich, Magda Zagon, Henrietta Hazley Jones, Mary Hutchins, Janine Ab Brown, Ernie Hall, Philip Cahill, Mary Selleck, Ben Madukwe, Jamie Smith, Leroy and Thelma James, Sandra Fennick, Dennis Sale, Anne Williams, Lois Lewington, Liz McKee, Fiona Singleton, and Patricia Gibson. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. Here, where we join our praises with the whole company of heaven, listen as we pray for all who have trusted Christ's promise to raise up on the last day those who eat his flesh and drink his blood. We remember particularly the souls of William Gayford, David Schofield, Eric Kirich, Len Haswell, Ellen Patricia Brown, Arthur Pollard, and Dorothy Jean Wood. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. Lord, satisfy our hunger with the food that lasts, the bread of God which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> our Lord Jesus Christ said, If when you are bringing your gift to the altar, you remember your brother or sister has a grievance against you, leave your gift where it lies before the altar. Go, make peace, and only then come and offer your gift. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of that peace. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sin. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. God, our sustainer, receive the gifts we bring before you and feed us continually with that bread which satisfies all hunger. Your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
<clears throat> the Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you to, in your great goodness to be our Saviour. He offered himself to you as the Lamb without blemish, the acceptable gift that gives you perfect praise. At the Last Supper, seated with his apostles, he left this memorial of his passion to bring us its saving power until the end of time. In this great sacrament, you feed your people and strengthen them in holiness, so that throughout the world, the human family may be enlightened by one faith and drawn together in one communion of love. We come to this foretaste of your heavenly banquet to be transformed by your grace and restored in the image and likeness of the risen Christ. Therefore, earth unites with heaven to sing a new song of praise. We too join with angels and archangels as they proclaim your glory without end. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> <clears throat> Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness, granted by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will. These gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. <clears throat> in the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory. We celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we, in the company of St. John and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray with confidence to the Father, as, his, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, 
because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. The gift to God for the people of God. For this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Body of Christ. The blood of Christ. <clears throat> Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will live in me and I in him, says the Lord. We praise and thank you, O Christ, for this sacred feast. For here we receive you. Here the memory of your passion is renewed. Here our minds are filled with grace, and here a pledge of future glory is given, when we shall feast at that table where you reign with all your saints forever. Amen. Before we finish with benediction, um, let me read to you this extract uh, from a book by Bishop Jeremy Taylor, uh, written about 1650, about being God-bearer. When the Almighty God meant to stoop so low as to be fixed in our centre, he chose for his mother a holy person and a maid. She received the angel's message with such sublimity of faith that her faith was turned to vision, her hopes into actual possession, and her grace into glory. She who was full of God, bearing God in her virgin womb, and the Holy Spirit in her heart, arose with taste and gladness to communicate that joy which was designed for all the world. Let us notice how light and airy was the coming of the Virgin, as she made haste over the mountains. Her very little burden which she bore hindered her not, but that she might make haste enough. Her spirit was cheerful, and her body full of life. And there is in this excellency in religion, 
that when we carry Christ within us, his presence is not so peevish as to disturb our health, nor so sad as to decompose our cheerfulness, but he recreates our body by charity and fills us with serenity. For as the Virgin climbed mountains easily, so there is no difficulty in our life so great, but it may be managed by those assistances we receive from the holiest Jesus when we carry him about us. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. O saving victim, opening wide, the gate of heaven to us below. Our foes press on from every side, by aid supply, thy strength bestow. All praise and thanks to thee ascend, for evermore blessed one in three. O grant us life that shall not end in our true native land with thee. Amen. <coughs> Therefore, we before him bending. In his face are gone and revealed, times and shadows of their ending, for the new world light is here. Faith our outward sense befriending, makes the inward vision clearer. Glory let us give and blessing, to the Father and the Son, honour, might, and praise and blessing, while all ages come along, ever to his love confessing, who from both with him both is one. Amen. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. Lord, you give life to the world. The bread of God comes down from heaven. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. Those who believe have eternal life. Lord, you give life to the world. Give us this bread, Lord, always. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. Lord, you give life to the world. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you give us the Eucharist as a memorial of suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father 
and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most sacred blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be God, the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed and praised be Jesus Christ in this most holy sacrament. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in its justice. Let us forever adore the most holy sacrament. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Extol him, all you peoples. For great is his steadfast love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Let us forever adore the most holy sacrament. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 